Hey, good morning, sixth grade. <clears throat> this is your language lesson for Tuesday, April the 7th. Lesson 13 is due for today. We'll go over a few of them. And then due tomorrow is the self-check. Lesson 14 is due tomorrow, the self-check. Tomorrow we will go over the self-check, uh, quite a bit of it probably and talk about what will be on the test then on Thursday. So language test is on Thursday. Think about that, be paying attention to your checklist uh, and everything that is on that test, but we will talk specifically about that tomorrow. So let's just go over a few things on lesson 13 today. Please turn to lesson 13, page 43. A reminder that at the end of the week when you pass in uh, your papers, when you deliver your papers to school, that I will need a character sketch, a final character sketch. Uh, so be working on that. Hopefully you are. All right, let's just look at a few things here in Lesson 13. Number one, parts of speech. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know what the test looks like yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if you had something, something like this in the test. What part of speech are these words? Why the boy has a way with the creature. Why is an interjection. So A is an interjection. Has a way. Way is kind of an idea. Okay? It's not a physical thing, but it's an idea. It's a noun. B is a noun. Just look at how the calf takes to him. C, look, is a verb. It would be an action verb. D, him, is a pronoun. E, it will probably ball all night for its mother. E, probably, is an adverb. F, ball, is a verb. G, for its mother, for, is a preposition. G is a preposition. I have no time to raise an orphan calf. Can you feed it and care for it, my boy? H is an adjective. How much time? I have no time. H is an adjective. I is an adjective. What kind of calf? An orphan calf. And J and is a conjunction. So be familiar with parts of speech. Know how to identify them, know the definitions of them, so that you can identify them, identify words and their parts of speech. Direct objects and indirect objects. <clears throat> a little review on that. Think about what they are. <clears throat> Think about the kinds of words they're related to. Direct objects follow an action verb and receives the action from that verb. Indirect objects come between an action verb and the direct object, and they receive the direct object. Okay, the action goes to the direct object. The direct object is going to the indirect object. Predicate adjective, predicate nominatives follow linking verbs and either describe, modify, or rename uh, the subject. Renaming would be a predicate nominative. Number two, Ahab was a wicked Old Testament king. King, watch this one, because Ahab was wicked, but Ahab was actually king. King is a predicate nominative. Wicked would be an adjective modifying king. So king goes back and renames Ahab. It's the same thing as Ahab. Uh, I'm just doing, yeah, showing you two so that you see what a predicate nominative. Ahab was king, predicate nominative. Jezebel was schemer. Schemer would also be a predicate nominative. Watch those adjectives there because it, it could look like cunning is a predicate adjective. Jezebel was cunning. Okay, and, it, and that could be. If that was all it was, then it would be. But the schemer is a predicate nominative. Cunning is modifying schemer. Number three, Naboth had a vineyard that King Ahab wanted for his own. All right? The helping verbs 
had, have, has, when they're by themselves, they're action verbs. Okay, you had something. Naboth had vineyard. Vineyard is what was had. Vineyard should be circled, direct object. And then we're not done yet. But Naboth would not sell it. Would sell, would not sell, would sell, action verb. It is what is not getting sold. It should be circled. Direct object there again. Number five, Jezebel thought of a plan. They would kill Naboth, kill, action verb, who's getting the action, who's receiving the action. Unfortunately for Naboth, Naboth is circled. And give, another verb, give what was given. The land was given, so land is circled. Who got the land? Ahab in parentheses. And all of these were cases of, what, compound sentences where you found one direct object, but you shouldn't have stopped there, keep going, because uh, there might be more. So always be aware of that. Don't stop. Number seven, underline the indefinite pronoun, circle the correct verb. Most of the varnish has, have been worn off. Most, what do we know about most? I think most is one of those that can be either plural or singular. So then you have to look at the object of the preposition that most is referring to, most of the varnish. How would you use varnish with, the, with one of those verbs? Varnish has been worn off. So number seven, most has. If that would say most of the cows then it would be most of the cows have, because cows is plural. Number nine, several of the branches. What do we know about the indefinite pr pronoun several? That is a plural one. That is always plural, so you need the plural verb there. Several need. Eleven, just make sure the prepositional phrases are at the right place. Uh, it is not the calf that has the binoculars, of course. So the boy with the binoculars. And the diagram yet. Number 23, and then I think we are done. Make sure the self-check is done, finished for tomorrow. We will go over that, and you can just do the odds of the self-check too. We'll go over quite a number of those to make sure we understand what's going on and talk about what's on the test. All right, let me put the diagram on the board. I forgot to put it on ahead of time. Jonathan Goforth was a missionary. Thought that was kind of a fitting name for a missionary, right? Think about what's happening here. Again, when you're diagramming, find the subject, find the verbs, Find the complements. The complements are your predicate adjectives, predicate nominatives, direct objects, indirect objects. Okay? Especially the words that are on the main line with the subject and the verb. Predicate adjectives, predicate nominatives, direct objects. Jonathan Goforth was a missionary. Subject is what? Verb is what? And then is there what? What kind of verb is that? Therefore, there might be what? Jonathan Goforth. position the camera to make sure that you can see the board. Let me make sure that you can see this. Yes, indeed, you can. All right. Where does the prepositional phrase for many years? Again, put parentheses around prepositional phrases in your sentence so you know you have a prepositional phrase. For many years would go with what? That's saying when he was. Don't forget.
forget about the little words. A to China. Right? Predicate nominative. Right? Linking verb. Make sure you recognize those and know how to diagram those. All right, there it is. Have a great day.